what's up love bugs welcome or welcome back to my channel sorry if y'all see a fly like in frame it's driving me insane right now <laughs> anyways if this is your first time checking me out hello hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified anytime i do any type of uploads and today you guys we are checking out my current favorites so if you are a follower or you're going to subscribe definitely check out the community tab i asked you guys a lot of things like what days you want me to upload what videos you want to see and this actually happened to be a video that you wanted to see you wanted to see my current favorites so i have this video going up i also have amazon must-haves because you guys do want to see that as well and then my review on the dyson flat iron so you guys will be seeing that as well also, currently right now, my upload days are Monday, and then we're trying to figure out the second day. Mondays, you guys respond to very well, so I'm going to check out to see if you guys, how you guys do on Fridays and different days like that to um, give another option for an upload day for me. So, let's jump into my favorites. Okay, to jump right into these favorites, we're going to start off with makeup. So the first item that I have for makeup is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This is a awesome setting powder. You can pick it up from Sephora. The travel size I believe is like 20 bucks and then the full size is $46. It's just a translucent setting powder. It, I just needed to set my makeup and it sets it so well, so flawlessly. No matter what concealer I use, it just sets it and it doesn't like make my skin look dry it doesn't give me like a matte finish it definitely gives me a smoother appearance i fell in love with this because the first time i saw anybody use it was jade lipstick and curls she is a huge fan well she was i don't know if she still is but she was a huge fan at one point in time of hourglass products and i was like man do i want to spend that much money but a little bit definitely goes a long way. This is definitely worth a purchase. Like I said, try the travel size or the smaller size and see if you guys like it. The $46 translucent powder, you get 0.36 ounces. That might not sound like a lot, but I've had this powder for quite some time and I still have a lot more to go through. And I'm just, I'm loving how it just makes my makeup finish. So that is the first item I picked up. And like I said, I picked that up from Sephora. The second item I'm actually wearing too is the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Kiss Lip Gloss. It's the Pout Bomb Plumping Lip Gloss with Vitamin E. I picked it up, like I said, in the color Kiss. I picked this up at Target, but it is at Ulta. At Target, it was $7. I like it because it's not too pigmented, but it's not so faint that you can't tell that you have something on your lips. I definitely love it. It lasted me pretty much most of the day. I've been talking a lot today, so for the fact that it's still on and still looking good, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of that. The next product on my list, which I'm almost out of, if you can't already tell, this is another Revolution Makeup Revolution London product. This is the Fix and Glow Dewy Finish Shimmer Particles Spray. I picked this product up, excuse me, from Target. I absolutely love it because I have very dry skin. So anytime I pile up setting powders foundations and stuff like that if i don't get the right combo my face just looks dry and it almost looks like it's starting to crack so i am a huge setting spray girl especially if it gives me a dewy finish and this product does like i said i picked it up from target this was 11 bucks for 3.38 fluid ounces like i said it does have shimmer in it and it's not so much that you look like you have glitter on your face however i have worn without makeup and with makeup and my skin i literally people are like oh my gosh your face looks like this when you see it in person so i'm this was a proud purchase this is my go-to product i'm going to continuously repurchase this product so if you are on a hunt for a decent finishing spray i would definitely give this one a whirl the next favorite on my list is the maybelline new york last lash Sens sensational sky high mascara 
I got this in the color Berry Black. I picked this up, I believe, from Target, but it is at Ulta. I picked it up from Target for $8.99. I love this mascara. Now, the reason why I love it is because it doesn't make my lashes look clumpy. I don't like the clumpy look. I like to look natural. I do have naturally longer eyelashes. So I don't necessarily want them to look fake and I don't necessarily want them to look clumped on. I haven't been a fan of a lot of mascaras in quite some time. The hands down the best mascara that I absolutely loved and they don't even make it anymore I don't believe is the Calvin Klein mascara. I feel like Calvin Klein just didn't take off. Such a sad time but I absolutely love that mascara however this is a mascara that still exists to this day and it's actually something you should pick up and try out my eyelashes look pretty awesome and I sometimes I just wear this even without foundation and stuff like that when I just want to go to the store real quick and show my eyelashes I just throw this on my top and my bottom and I keep going the last makeup item, which is also going to lead me into skincare, but the last makeup item is the Clinique Take Off the Day Cleansing Balm. You get 3.8 ounces for 34 bucks. Y'all, this goes a long way. When you put this on, it literally just melts everything off. You rub it in and you just start to slowly see the balm pick up all the makeup and gook on your face. I absolutely love this product. I've tried it in the past before and wasn't a huge fan of it. I couldn't appreciate what this bomb had to offer, but now I completely appreciate what this bomb has to offer. So if you are looking for something that will melt your skin away, that is definitely good for sensitive dry skin, this is definitely something to give a whirl and pick up. You can pick this up at obviously like your department stores, Dillard's, Macy's, the people who have the Clinique stands in it. You can pick it up at Ulta and you can also pick it up at Sephora. So this is a very convenient non-drugstore product slash brand that you can find a lot of their products at in multiple places. So hands down, go find this if you're looking for a good makeup remover. So hopping into skincare products, I only have four things in front of me and you guys already know the first one I'm going to talk about. It is the Urban Skin RX Even Tone Cleansing Bar 3-in-1 Treatment. So if you guys want to know a lot about this and a more in-depth review on this, I will link the video below in my description box and above in the cards. But this has been a oldie but a goodie. I always revisit this product. You can pick this up at Target, Ulta. They have, Target has a travel size one ounces for $6.99 and then they have the bigger size for $15.49. This is a great product, especially if you have acne prone skin, you have some dark spots that you need to fade. This is a good three a week, three day treatment, four day treatment. I wouldn't re necessarily recommend to use it every day, but this hands down is currently my favorite item right now that I'm using in my skincare regimen. I keep picking it up and setting it back down, picking up and setting it back down, but I have on and off been using this for about three years, I wanna say. So check, your, check this product out. Okay, so y'all, the next skincare product that I am loving, it is the Catro Facial Cleansing Brush. This is on Amazon. It's almost like the, there's another brush like this that literally looks the exact same size, flawless, that's what it is. It's almost like the flawless skin brush. You have the button right here and you can just hear it, I don't know if you can hear it, but you can hear it going and you can see it moving. This, I'm just a huge fan of silicone brushes. I know some people are not fans of them. They rather you just use a cloth or a microfiber cloth or use some type of, you know, other 
cleansing items but i'm just a huge huge fan of silicone brushes i've always have been they're very gentle on my skin yet they get deep down inside of my skin that i feel and i feel like they cleanse them very well you can pick this up off of amazon 26 dollars, and it is pink so i absolutely love this it comes with a little holder it has the charger at the bottom the last time i charged this was in may on my birthday and it is now july what 17th and it's still going it's still kicking so obviously the charge time is amazing and it's just it has three different settings so it has a pulsating setting it has a setting and then it has a slow down version so not as powerful so you have three different options to utilize how to use utilize this like the settings and it's it's so convenient you can just pack this up and go it doesn't take up a lot of space and I'm just I'm here for this product so the next item I absolutely love and is my current favorite it's the Dermora I know I'm probably saying that wrong so don't come for me in the comments 24 karat gold under eye patches for maximum results you can get 20 pairs for $17.99 at Amazon these have made a huge difference in my under eyes so i'm almost curious to know if i can try out some other patches because on this product right here the gold isn't really that high it's actually really low on the totem pole when it comes to the amount of gold that's probably sitting in this product however i do see a difference in my under eyes i do see that my under eyes are less puffy i have hereditary bags so the moment i don't get any sleep you know so i love love i mean love i let these sit on my eyes for about 15 minutes take them off and my face just looks girl like i got a facial a really good one so i would highly recommend this if you're looking for a good eye patch i've used a lot of eye patches none of them work as effective as these ones have I use a lot of eye patches, but none of them work as effective as these ones have for me. So you guys go check them out on Amazon. You get 20 pairs for $17.99. Last facial product that I'm absolutely in love with. It's the Clinique's Broad Spectrum SPF Super Defense City Block Daily Energy Plus Face protector i actually like this because it's it's a thicker cream so for me i like thickerness but it's not so thick that it feels greasy i will say probably on darker skin it definitely is going to leave a cast for you so this might not be for uh darker complexions like it, it's it's going to leave cast however um if that's not a issue for you this is definitely a product it doesn't leave you feeling greasy but you definitely feel that layer of spf you you can definitely apply your makeup on top of it and your face isn't sliding off this is a great spf that i use daily i use it even when i'm not wearing makeup um, because i do use a lot of vitamin c products and i have noticed by using this everything that i use with vitamin c in it i have not seen anything on my face get darker so i absolutely hands down would recommend this like i said you can pick this up from ulta because it's a clinique brand sephora macy's dillard's anybody that pretty much sells clinique 39.99 for what is this 1.4 fluid ounces and a little bit definitely goes a long way so 39 might sound like a lot but honestly i've used this daily and i still i don't know if you can tell but i still have a full bottle still that's how far along this product goes so well we're moving into body stuff so i have two body items first let me talk to you guys about this one so before i get into the fragrance let's talk about this gel v by vanna belt it is a cool sensation body firming that helps with the appearance of loose skin and stretch marks uh, it's great for working out you get 8.8 .8 ounces for 50 bucks you guys i literally have been using this product since 2013 like 
I was I used this product when she used to put this in containers. She's changed her packaging a few times since between now and then and she was like little jars i want to say she only had like maybe 2,000 subscribers like i will show you a screenshot of her youtube on here you guys she promotes this is not a lie go on her youtube page and look at people's before and afters and when i tell you a lot of these women have gone through pregnancy a lot of these women have you know just gained weight had to lose weight it's fading stretch marks it's definitely uh helping out with loose skin i can attest to the stretch marks and the loose skin um this is a product that is amazing amazing it has seaweed green tea and methyl in it so when you put it on you're gonna smell like vicks I, I'm just gonna throw it out there. You smell like Vicks and you apply it. She tells you to apply it, massage it through your skin um, about, you know, two, two times a day, you know, workouts. I do it when I'm just regularly around the house. And you guys, my husband's always like, man, you smell like Vicks. <sighs> Y'all, go look at her Instagram and then decide if you're gonna buy this. But if you're struggling with, Skin, stretch marks things of that nature and you just want to fade them not necessarily make them go away but fade them very well go check her out it's vanna belt so the last item i picked up is the valentino fragrance i picked this up from target and not target excuse me y'all i love target but target didn't sell this i picked this up from ulta i what fluid ounce do i have I have the one fluid ounce. It is $75. It's the Bolse Viva. I'm probably saying that wrong. Don't come for me in the comments. But this is just, y'all, this fly is killing me. Anyways, this is like a very grown, sexy smell. You get that, uh, you get that vanilla with a vanilla and it has like some orange notes in there it's like a subtle very subtle not overpowering floral smell in my opinion but let's see what they have in it they call it a radiant floral i don't feel like it's like a it a lot but it is a floral fragrance like i said it has uh the middle notes orange blossom absolute and golden gardenia accord it does have a base of vanilla because that's what i smell a lot i smell the vanilla like for me the vanilla comes out more than anything and i just y'all this go to ulta and smell this product i love it if you're not a floral person you're not gonna like it it just it's like a grown and sexy smell but it's not like driving miss daisy smell like you not that 75 year old woman swinging in your Cadillac smell. Um, but you're definitely, you're, 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 you're in your thirties. You have your life in order and you're, you're rocking the smell. This is definitely like a signature smell to me. Like this is my signature. I love floral, but I don't like it too sweet or too overpowering, but this is, or too old ladyish, because I've had the Lancome. Lancome has what was that fragrance that Julia Roberts was promoting? Anyways, it, Lancome has a floral. It just smelled like old lady, so I was just like, I can't do this. But this is definitely, definitely a grown woman floral smell. If you like this floral smell, like if you're more of like a musk type individual. You'll pass on this but go check it out go smell it it's at ulta a little bit definitely goes a long way i spray it on my arms and then i put some behind my ears and y'all i'm good to go love it technically i only have four hair care items so this should be quick so the first two literally i picked up at target there from the same um no i have three hair care items so it's these, these two are the same items. So the first two, they're from the Mayo 
Organics Rice Water Collection. I know a lot of people did not like her, that line. I know a lot of people was really upset. They canceled that lady. But anyways, <laughs> so it is the moisturizing milk. And I picked this up eight fluid ounces for, I believe, $12.99. And then it is the rice water split in therapy. And I picked this up for $9.99 at Target. You guys, they have, you get the fermented rice smell. I actually like that smell. And then you get that hint of ginger, I feel. there. I feel like there's a hint of, what is this? Is it ginger or lemon either way so i shake this up and i put it on my ends and my ends just feel amazing like they have really been my split ends because i'm a heavy brusher first of all i need to learn how to brush my hair correctly however this has been helping with my ends not looking so ratty so quick and it's definitely been this is like my second bottle and it's been it's been doing the thing. And then I've been following up with the moisturizing milk. This has been doing a justice for my hair. I like the smell. I like how it leaves my hair feeling. And it's not too drying in my hair, which I was actually surprised because I feel like sometimes rice, since it's so heavy in protein, I feel like it's definitely drying however this was not the case so i absolutely love these two items i would suggest anybody to pick them up they're very very lightweight so if you have fine hair like myself a little bit definitely goes a long way they're not heavy they don't weigh down your hair and it's just overall just good for the health of your hair in my opinion I haven't had a lot of breakage. I haven't had bad split ends. So these two have been helping me with moisture and just containing my split ends. I've been using these products, I wanna say for a good month, month and a half, almost two probably. I think I feel like I've been using them since May, so probably longer. But I love these, check these out. And the last product, you guys, my handy dandy Dyson. So I purchased this last year and I couldn't appreciate it. I just, I just, no, did I purchase it last year? Yes. I purchased it, no, to my, my very first Mother's Day. Was last year my first Mother's Day? Yes. I could not appreciate this item at all. However, I appreciate it. I absolutely love this blow dryer. So let's look at the specs on this blow dryer real quick. So it is the Dyson Spec blow dryer. It is $3.99. It comes with an extremely long cord. Well, not extremely, but it definitely comes with a longer cord so you can go quite a distance with this cord which i can appreciate because i'm usually stretching across my counter anyways i received a diffuser attachment which literally look it goes on so easy it's so ridiculous it goes on pulls on there's not a fight to there's not a fight at all to get this onto the actual dryer itself. It's very, very lightweight, so it's not heavy. And I also got a brush and the comb attachment to go on this as well. So on top of that, it has, when you turn it on, this is the on button. This is the cool button that you can hold. However, you can adjust the cool on this side and you can adjust the heat on this side. So if you just want it to blow cool air, just straight up, just blow cool air, you can just hit this button and turn off the heat completely and it will just blow cool air and vice versa. The cool thing about this is I feel like the air that comes out of this is like the air flow that comes out of the Dyson hand dryers. So if you've ever been into a bathroom that has a Dyson hair dryer, ha the hand dryers, it blows the same way. It's it's very powerful, very straight, very to the point. And I feel when I'm using 
things like this or the other attachments that it came with the airflow is just straight and to the point so it's a very concentrated airflow that allows my hair to dry fairly quickly i can blow dry my hair this took me five minutes to blow dry my hair five minutes that was it granted i do have finer hair and i do have a lot less hair than a lot of other people but i do hear people say they blow dry their air, hair very very quickly with these flat iron I mean with these blow dryers so yes it's a pricey one however the technology and the usage behind this I respect it and I will probably never want to go to a regular blow dryer again because this just sets the bar so high like I've always needed to blow dry my hair because I use I'm the type to walk out with wet hair and I usually catch head colds so this has been preventing me from doing so so i'm a year in and i absolutely love this item this will probably always be a favorite to me but sound off in the comment section give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you like this video and i will see y'all in the next one bye